Good morning. It's uh, 7.20 in the morning here in Alma, Missouri. Exercising Fabio, the last horse to be ridden this morning. It's a little later than usual. Uh, we were working, finishing up the corn harvest last night till probably just about midnight. Uh, we even got the little small field over there. Uh, so yeah, I didn't get up till six this morning. You know, it's really dark around five when we were getting up trying to ride the horses and stuff. So I waited till six. I'm probably gonna regret that because I got two soybean fields that I need to harvest. Uh, you'll see in the upper right, money's gone down quite a bit. There's a couple explanations for that. First one I'll throw up now. We had twenty thousand dollars of maintenance to do on the combine when we finished the larger of the two cornfields. That was in part my fault because the maintenance, I don't know, I've heard it referred to as the health bar. I'll call it the readiness bar on the uh, combine was probably down to two thirds when we started. And I even came in and fueled at one point at the gravity fuel tank and could have probably done some much needed repairs at the time let's check see they all should be 100% cleanliness daily riding yep so that was kind of my fault and then something came up used and I had the bright idea that I would make a service truck out of it. So I'll throw that up. So what we did is at auction we bought a uh, we bought a service truck that we can use. We can throw the toolbox in the back of it and we can head out and we can uh, refuel and service the combines out in the field which might be necessary given some of the larger fields that we have uh, probably wasn't a good expense but uh, I couldn't help myself I was tempted to get that seed tender also uh, and I even contemplating selling ours and buying the used one but I resisted did manure pile I was talking in the last episode I gotta do something about that I do it's not as dire as I thought it's dire but not quite as dire as I thought it's got capacity for 140,000 so it's currently over 120 which I thought was the capacity uh, but I still have a little more time, I think. I believe I mix up feed off camera as well. I can't remember now. Let's check. Damn, yeah, also, we've got like 70,000 liters of total mix ration in here right now. So, cows are good enough for today. We'll take a look at the sheep quick. And I think what I want to do is I want to run into town and uh, pick up that service truck real quick this morning. And then I want to go over and I want to work on the alfalfa field. Cheap look good. They got plenty of feed. I want to work on that alfalfa field because we know it's going to rain... That's interesting. It's not on the forecast. We know it's going to rain uh, later today, though. That's interesting. Can't remember if I did this yet. 
We're gonna need to get in here to get the rake out anyway, so let's hop in here. I know I tried to do it with the bucket on the wheel loader. The no, yeah, the straw is still there. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can get this straw oil. I'm wondering if I should. There we go. I should put a uh, manure pile near the horse barn. There we go. Now that we got six horses and probably soon to be eight someday, <laughs> might not be a bad idea. You can see the alfalfa field over there with the alfalfa cut in the distance. We need to get over there and work on that. First things first, we'll do a quick run into town now. Let's see, we'll park this right here. Hopefully that's mostly out of the way. What am I doing? I'm gonna go grab Best thing I can think of is taking the uh, gooseneck trailer in to pick up that service truck. Gosh, we're down at thirty-five thousand with the maintenance costs of doing the maintaining the combines. I'm a little worried. and the cost of paying the workers. I think that's going to be challenging. But we'll see. Yeah, I'm not sure it was a necessary purchase, <laughs> but you know, you know me. I like to buy my used equipment. I also am a little bit of a procrastinator. I know I need to do a soybean harvest, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> no, I need to bail alfalfa, but I don't want to do it. I look for other things to do so I don't have to. Alright, let's run into town. I'm going to stop out front the store here. I want to check see if anything else came up. I, uh, I'm doing this because I really don't have money to buy anything, but yeah, okay. All right, I'll pull. I'll pull in over here. I don't want to block traffic. Yeah, just that seed runner still, and man. It's only five thousand dollars. It's only five thousand dollars. <laughs> I I should buy it. I don't know what we paid for ours. We paid full price, but 
Okay, so it's an F-350, right? It is a dually. Uh, we got the service back. We got the bolt brush guard on the front. Definitely could use some work itself. I'm going to go over to the fuel station with it. And I'm going to fill the uh, fuel tank up on it. So I can use it to refuel. There we go. I, I thought I hit that and it wasn't going up. I don't know why. Oof. Ouch. I just spent as much on fuel. <laughs> Perhaps even more than I was thinking about spending on the uh, seed runner. Eh, whoa. I couldn't hear the horn there. Maybe it'll come in in the video. This guy. Just walking back and forth. In the way. I can't remember. Yeah, that's right. Get the wide axles on this. Come on, people. What are you doing? Wow. Okay, we're arriving back at the farm. Um, I don't think it was strapped on because it's moved around a little bit. I was getting all kinds of weird camera collisions when I would come behind the the vehicle and it would just zoom in too much. I don't, it's not doing it now. Make a liar out of me. As often seems to be the case. I'm going to try and get it off of here now. <laughs> There we go. I usually try and show you just about everything. And uh, a lot of times I do edit primarily just for content. Uh, occasionally I put bloopers at the end when something goes horribly wrong that I take out. Or that something that just didn't make it in the episode. But I thought it I think I do a pretty fair job of it. Anyway, let's see. I don't know where to keep this for now. Let's, uh, let's just set it right there. Close that. I don't know. Oh, that was a manual. Huh? All right. I don't know if I have any place to park this just yet. I don't know, it looks big. The other one is probably a, a better looking one, the one that like the uh, store has, but that's okay. Let's see. What am I doing? <laughs> I think I want a windrow. Spent about as much time walking over here. Should pull that out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know 
what combine I'm going to use when I get to it anyway. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. Let's get the wind drawing done. We'll start the combining. Get a worker on it. And then we can bail while we're helping the worker. Emptying the combine for him. That's what I'm thinking. We'll use this to wind it out. What I need is like a I need like a little John Deere 5M or something. That would be nice. Can I get in here? Got it. All right, I'm gonna go buy the. I learned my lesson. I'm gonna go buy the toolbox. We're gonna do some maintenance. I don't know what it is that needs it so bad, but I am not gonna let things get as bad as they did. Cause it's just not good. <laughs> not a good practice. One hundred thirty thousand dollars. How the heck did that happen? because we use the heck out of our machines all the time. I do have the conveyor moved over to the middle bin. That's where we're going to put the soybeans. So that's ready. Semi-truck needs work. And probably the pace setter trailer needs work as well. So that's going to be more expense. when we get to that. So the goal is to get these bales made today and then to clear the field tomorrow. here at the beginning. I could actually get a worker to do this, I think. I don't know. I'll just do it myself as a time lapse. I think. And I don't know what to do about, you know, the mix of grass and hay. We'll just <laughs> hopefully get mostly uh, alfalfa hay bales out of it. We get one of them happens to end up being a hay bale. I suppose that's okay too. So the first soybean field we'll harvest will be the next one up. I think that was the first one that we planted. And then this one here to my immediate left. And then the other one is the large horseshoe part. <laughs> Speak English, Jim. The large horseshoe shaped field, which won't be ready to go until November. When I did get that, I did get the contract to harvest that large cornfield. 
We drove past it. I was going to talk about it when we drove past it, but I think that's going to be planned to be edited out for time, the trip to and from town to pick up the service truck. So let me knock this out. This alfalfa field is deceptively large. I am having a mild panic attack right now just because the weather forecast updated up at the upper right and I see the rain on it and I'm just uh, freaking out just a little bit. <laughs> Wishing maybe I hadn't got up so late wishing I hadn't gone into town to pick up that service truck and that I would have got an earlier start. Uh, I think well, we'll check on the weather forecast here in a minute. I think the rain is expected around 4 o'clock which means probably around 3.30 which doesn't give me a ton of time especially because that other field's probably deceptively large as well it is not going to go as quickly as I think it might. So, we're going to finish this up here real quick. And we're going to have to start getting over there and getting on that soybean harvest right away. I think we'll just leave that scrap there. And we'll clean it up later. Alright, so it's wind road. It's almost 10 o'clock now, though. I think we're eating in the cab today again, at least lunchtime. We gotta try and get as much done as we can before it started raining. 
I want to get that one soybean field harvested, and I want to get uh, want to get that alfalfa bale also. It's got to be wishful thinking. I'm, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not gonna bother trying to do a good job bagging this in just yet. I'm just gonna stick it right in the door. For now, I don't have time to waste. We'll grab it, we'll pull it out. Oh, let's... I was gonna walk over. It's like, why the heck am I gonna walk over? I'll grab the gator. Why am I gonna grab the gator? Take this. Uh, where do we park, though? I'll we'll park right here. got a lot of things to move around all right so the problem is this combine has a hard time getting this header off of this trailer so I'm gonna use the other one let's get the uh, I'm not gonna make this mistake again am I sure I am I don't want to do that again. Um, go right over here. I know the semi truck needed work. Let me do that. Come here, toolbox. Moving awful jerkily. Jerky Lee. Ouch. Should throw it in the back of the service truck, but not yet. Okay. Grab this then. into something? I don't think so. Does this one have a dang... What's that? What is that on the roof? So this trailer is not the trailer that goes with this header. The other one actually is. I don't know if I can get... I guess before I go all the way down there, I should make sure I can get it off, right?
scope. So let me get the other combine. This is the one we're going to use on this field. Check, see that I can get. At the header. Before I take it all the way over there. Drive everything over there and find out it's not going to work. Yeah, we're fine. Alright. Okay, let's get this over there then. We'll come back for the combine in a minute. There's way too much stuff <laughs> that we have to move for this. side of this field working west to east seems to work well uh, we should be good I don't know, do I need to do two rounds? I probably could get away with just one So what I want to do is I want to bring the semi-truck with the pace setter. I want to park down on that road, I think. And then get the grain cart over here and run the grain cart to the combine. This field is bigger than, than I thought. This is not, this is going to be tough. It's like that last field of alfalfa was bigger and I 
bigger than I thought it was. And then I ended up kind of running north-south. It worked. That field, the alfalfa field, seems to work better running east-south with the workers. East-south. <laughs> what am I saying? East-west with the workers. But I ended up doing it north-south myself just because it seemed like that was a longer run. I think we're going to regret that when I come back with the baler, but we'll see. So the idea, hopefully, is initially I was thinking I would have two combines working at the same time and we'd do both these fields and I'd just run the grain cart in between. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to be trying to bale at the same time I'm running the grain cart to offload uh, this combine. And then since soybeans is somewhat lower yielding, I don't know how many times I'm going to have to empty the pay setter trailer off of this field. My guess is a couple. Again, that's just a, that's just a guess. sure what I want to do when I get over to that the entrance to the field again do I want to just do another swipe up that side just because I can I think I will and this side will probably just leave the way it is I gotta try and make that curve I just hope that leaves enough room for the worker to turn around. Indecision. You know what? I'm going to go back this way. put two headlands on this side because of the drainage I'll leave the one on the other and I won't even do one on the east side of the field and then I can clean that up with when the worker gets done because that's not a straight north south edge fine I think this will work out I was going to hop in the pickup to go get the grain cart, but I think, I think maybe I can walk up from here. And then I'll use the pickup to go get the semi-truck. I'm just thinking of how to get this done quickly. I'm going to pull up my mini-map so I can figure out at some point I need to go 270. No, not 270, 180. When is that going to be? I'm going to say... Actually, I 
should be able to start the worker now. Okay. I think I could. I think again, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, let me go get the grain cart and then I can go get the semi truck, yeah. Okay, we're officially juggling now. <laughs> Let's see. We're going to start out. We got hay, I think, in here. It should turn to alfalfa hay. So we hit this, though. No. Yep, there we go. All right, so I'm missing some. These windrows are a little sloppy. I'm hoping that we can get them all right okay let's zoom out a little more we gotta keep an eye on the upper right see when that guy we're gonna have scraps it's gonna be a mess I can see right now we'll do what we can right as always we'll do what we can we'll probably have to run around the field and clean up afterwards but that's where it goes. I tried to empty the combine before I came over here. I'm hoping it'll get better when we... It's not gonna get better. <laughs> the thing is, is you... The best thing to do is to run on a nice cardinal heading. Now, due north or due south, and then you can put the baler on the same heading, and the windrows are probably going to be a little neater when it's going dead straight. We're just going to be missing little scraps here. We'll we'll end up having to run around at the end try and clean them up I think I'm not panicking as much as I was before though I wanted to look at the revised weather forecast and really make myself feel comfortable but I'm not really 
comfortable taking the time to do it. Maybe when we adjust for the next uh, straight run here, I'll take a brief moment, take a look, see what we can do. But I'm happy to just get bailing as fast as we can. Fortunately, I'm starving, hungry. <laughs> I'm so tempted to go up to the house for lunch. But I know it's not the right thing to do. Definitely not going to be the right thing to do. Let me just take a brief second here, though. I want to take a look at the weather. Okay, here's the weather forecast. Oh no, it moved up to 3 o'clock. I thought it was supposed to be 4. Was it 3 the whole time? No, I think it was 4 before, but I, I hadn't looked at it yet today. How about long term? And then it's going to start raining at 5, 6 in the morning, then it's going to stop. Okay. At least it won't be raining tomorrow morning, but that does put the pressure on here in that we've got less than three hours to get this done. Which means I am not stopping for lunch, that's for sure. Sandwich in the cab of the tractor today. I didn't reset the bail counter. When we started, I should have done that. Oh well. Yeah, you get in a hurry and you forget to do little things. I gotta get better about rushing. You know, when you start rushing, you get, you get rammy, you make mistakes, you do stupid things, and it generally ends up taking you longer <laughs> than if you had just taken your time, you know. Slow is smooth, and smooth is fast, we used to say.
Alright, I'm heading up the last windrow of the alfalfa hay here. I tell you, it's been a real roller coaster of emotions. Working in this field, I'm alternating between confidence and panic. <laughs> suffering from a lot of anxiety uh, <laughs> leaving a lot more bits all over the field than I wish I had but I think I think we're gonna get it done uh, yeah you know at times I think I'm rushing to try and get through then I feel confidence I call calm down a little bit and go a little better that the swaths are just too wide I guess to get them cleanly if you drive slow maybe you could get them all I don't know uh, but we got it done um, I'm gonna work on trying to get all the little bits that I missed you probably don't need to watch me do that I'll get that done. If it does start to rain while I'm still doing this, I'll bring you back in. But otherwise, we'll jump cut till to when I've gone around and got all these little bits of alfalfa hay off the field. Because all right, final scrap in the field. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it or not. We started with 13% of a bale, I think, and we ended up with 25, so just over 10% of a bale we were able to clean up. But I suppose. All right, so it's three o'clock. Uh, wasn't the rain forecast for three? So I guess we got away with one. This is the one time it didn't start a half hour early. <laughs> Maybe the accuracy of our weather forecast has improved with our weather station. Don't know what to tell you. But we appear to have gotten done before the rain starts. amazed that it has not started raining yet I think maybe you know it was supposed to rain between three and four o'clock and it refined to closer to three than four but maybe it's still yet to come. But probably before 3.30. So let's get this. Let's get this offloaded. That's perfect. The more you do this stuff, the better you get at it. Eh, it doesn't look great, but I can pull the truck up this way. Just there. Oh, it's all gone anyway. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter. It's all out anyways. Alright, so let's move this. 
out the way. Right about there. Oh, too far. It's getting ready to start to fold up. So that's one soybean field done. And there it comes. Look at that. Just in time. <laughs> we did it. We beat the rain. Not only did we get a soybean field harvested, but we also got the alfalfa hay baled before it started raining. I think that's a success. Uh, I'll look around and see what I need to do here at the farm. Uh, what I will probably do this evening, once the rain stops, is I'll probably start on that uh, harvest on that cornfield for the contract so we can work towards earning some money. Priorities, of course, are working on our fields and filming it for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you don't subscribe yet, why not? It don't cost nothing. See you next time. Apparently my backing skills with a semi truck and trailer have been called into question. I'd like to point out that in the previous episode, it was edited for time not to try and mask some shortcoming on my part. Matter of fact, I thought it went quite smoothly. But because of the tight quarters here at the livestock sale barn and the fact that it's on the edge of the map and I'd never been here before with the semi truck, it wasn't perfectly fluid, but I think I did a pretty good job. So here it is.